Hello lovelies, physics paper two tomorrow and I have some important updates about that paper for you. So for the majority of you, it is going to be the last paper that you'll sit. I know there are a few on Friday and a couple trickle into next week, but physics paper two for loads of you is going to be the last one that you'll sit. Physics paper two, 30% of your physics grade is math in science. So those calculations you've got to work out. Now, it appears there has been a bit of a change in the way that these are marked. Now, previously, the mark schemes for science and maths questions in science and maths exams were different. In maths, you always had to show your working because you would get marks for specific parts of the working. And in science, the mark schemes used to say, if the answer, if this number is given, award three marks, award four marks. So in science, you never had to show any working out before. You could just get given the marks. That appears to have changed a little bit this year. This is the feedback that I'm hearing from teachers that are doing the marking, have seen the mark schemes. That's, um, this has changed a little bit and this really impacts the exam that you've got tomorrow because we know that the physics exam has the largest component of maths in there. So what you need to do now is just to show all of your working out for your calculations questions because the understanding that I have of this is if you have like a five mark calculations question which is quite complicated and you don't do any working at all and you write down the answer really random hypothetical answer of 39.27 and that's the correct answer and you manage to get to that answer without doing any working out at all that looks suspicious and that might be where like my practice has come in that might be that you've seen the answers before because we know there have been a couple of leaks this year or it might be that you got helped by somebody in an exam so that's why it looks suspicious if you just write down the numerical answer without showing any working out at all so what the what the exam wants now want you to do is to show all of your steps of working out now if you're worried about previous exams where maybe you've shown like two of the steps and not three of the steps of working out you will probably still get all of the marks this is just uh try and pick up on those cases where people um can work out the answer and can remember the answer and just going into the exam and write down the answer or somebody's told them the answer like this is this is to work out help work out all the dodgy cheating that we've seen a little bit of this year. So it's not a big change, it's not really anything drastically different to what the majority of you are doing already because to be able to get to a calculation answer, I'm always telling you to show all of your working NOA, but it's really, really important now that you show all of your working. Um, good luck with the exam tomorrow, guys. Uh, I'm gonna have lots of stuff for you coming up over the summer, uh, but relax after that and enjoy, good luck.